Hey, what's up, turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And it's time for another show and tell with some of my handmade leather goods. Here we have the Axe Loop, eight to nine ounce premium veg tan leather, which I dyed a two-tone color scheme, which I really like. On the underside is a saddle tan, and on the top surface is a, a mottled dark brown. And then we have five Chicago screws holding it all together. Have the heads on the top, these are flat heads. And they're dome shaped, so on the inside where your tool handle will be coming in contact with them, they're rounded so they won't scratch up your tool handle. And I will get an axe, get this on my belt and put an axe in it and show you, show you it in use. Our logo right there. No machines were harmed in the making of this axe loop. All done by hand, beveled and burnished the edges by hand. On the underside of the leather, I always put uh, a product called Tan Coat, which just protects the leather just a little bit more. And then obviously the leather after dyeing has been treated with oils and I put open offs on everything I make. Let me uh, get this on the belt and, uh, and put an ax through it and show you, show you what it looks like. Here we go, sitting on the belt. There's no quick release option with this. You're gonna have to obviously thread your belt through there. And you can see this is, I believe, a one and a half inch belt, so there's plenty of space if you actually were gonna wear this on a, you know, utility belt or construction, something like that. It's plenty of room, but that's really all there is to it. Just basically to hang a tool while you're using it. Hammer, hatchet, axe, tomahawk, whatever. This is the Condor Greenland Pattern Axe, just to give you an idea for size. And when I actually I was making these, I wanted to make a, an axe mask too, so I sort of made it in the same color scheme. Brown with a little bit of distressed tan on the welt. Might not be able to pick it up, but I made this as well. Not included. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about and, uh, and share with you today about these, uh, this axe loop. Now, I do not put thread lock on these Chicago screws because if you do that, even the thread lock or Loctite that is meant to come undone if you want to, because there's only one place for a screwdriver tool on the Chicago screws, you really don't have the chance to break open that, that thread lock or Loctite because you're gonna be able to use one tool. So I don't do that. You can add that if you want because these are available for purchase. After you purchase one, you can put that on. You could take the Chicago screws out and even lace it together if you wanted to go that route. So there's some options there because I have these for sale on my Etsy store, Owl Creek Handmade. I'm also on Instagram under that handle. So all the relevant information is in the description box below. As always, if you're outside of the US and you're interested in purchasing anything I create, just contact me directly so we can uh, discuss those details because right now I'm just shipping within the US on my store until I figure out the, the logistics and get used to doing all this as well. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to, uh, to leave them below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the belt loop, if you like what we're doing, if you like spring, how about a thumbs up for spring? Or maybe a thumbs up for the axe mask. <laughs> I kept messing that up and saying a different word instead of axe mask. Yeah, so our upload schedule right now is going to be Sunday and Tuesday, unless we're feeling ambitious, then maybe on a Thursday. So if you're interested in keeping up to date with our YouTube uploads, be sure to subscribe and or check out your feed on Sundays and Tuesdays. All right, till the next video, this is Crick with Black Owl. Later, turtles.